What's up guys, welcome to your spicy hum day. And you know how we get down on a spicy hum day. And for those that are experiencing for the very first time, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So today, man, you're gonna have a snatch movement with the barbell. For those that have experienced this or know how to do it, that's what we're gonna be rocking and don't sweat. It's a little bit of a complex movement, very simple to do once you understand it. But if you're not there yet, totally like you're good. We got your back. But first movement we're gonna talk about is that snatch. In your two minutes and 30 seconds, working our way up to 15 minutes, just like last week, we're gonna do three reps of one movement, which will convert into another movement. Movement that I'm talking about is the barbell snatch. Wide stance, keeping that barbell near your body. Arms are lengthen, big deep breath as you shrug it up and pop it off your hips. Get into that snatch position, that would be one. Controlling that weight down, and then going to the next one will be two. Once you get to your third rep, we're gonna go to an overhead squat. This squat is not about how strong your legs are, it's about really the mobility in your ankles and your shoulders. But big deep breath, keeping those arms locked out. Arms are locked, ass the grass, and then power up. So if you notice, my heels are never coming off the ground. I'm taking my time, right? Mobility in my hips, quads, everything. Hip flexors is what I've been saying, not um, groin. But once you get to a total of three, you would then drop your weight add some weight. And we're gonna do that continuously until we get to the 15 minute mark. If you're not there yet, I'm totally cool with that. All you're gonna do is the dumbbell. Grab that dumbbell, and you're gonna do alternating snatches, but everything's gonna be double. So instead of three and three, you're gonna be doing six and six. So keeping that dumbbell near your body, that's one. With heavy, challenging weight will be two. On your sixth one, you're just gonna go right into a goblet position with that dumbbell and you're gonna do a total of six <sighs> squats. That's it, two minutes and 30 seconds, working our way up to 15 minutes. And then it's the conditioning. Last week we did 21, 15, nine, nine, 15, 21, really difficult workout. So we kind of cut everything in half this week. All you're gonna do is 21, 15, and nine, but we're doing devil presses. So with the devil press, all right, going down to the ground, just like a burpee, going to the push up, Shoulders to pinch back, tight stomach. I like to get that little rock like a kettlebell swing. <sighs> Locking out above my head, poking my head through the window. Going back down, all right. Hips down, <sighs> poking out. Very explosive movement. Once you get to 21 reps, you would then go down to the ground, just your body weight. Guys, please don't add any wall balls or dumbbells for your sit-ups, but knees are bent. Come up, touch your toes. Then you get to 21 reps. Once you get to 21 reps, you choose. But I need you to choose the weight or the distance that's gonna challenge you as a person to get better. But also at the same time, I want you to be able to finish this workout. So for everybody, I want you to at least get to 200 meter run. Now, if you've been here and you know to choose between the two, I want you to go and target for the 400 meter run. But 21 of each movement and then your run, 15 of each movement, then your run, nine of each movement, then you run. Look at the weight requirements that I have for the barbell and also for the snatch for today's workout. But other than that, man, it's gonna be a spicy hump day. Bring your A game. I'll see y'all soon.